Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos, because here we talk about all things fragrances. All right guys, today I'm gonna do my favorite type of video that I love to do. I love to film for my YouTube channel, which is one fragrance full in-depth review video. Yes, I know I love, you know, kind of list of fragrances type of video too, but I feel like with one fragrance full in-depth review, I could give you my full thought and my very little details review of the fragrance that I'm going to talk about. And it is like the most true to myself type of video. So yeah, once in a while, I would love to do this kind of video or if you like, I could do it more often besides the, the other kind of video. But today, the fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Iris Malacan from the house Maison Crivelli. This is how the bottle looks. Very simple, very sleek, and I got a 100 ml bottle. They also, this house also offer the 30 ml size bottle, so if you feel like the 100 ml is too much for you, too expensive for you, so you can go ahead and order a 30 ml bottle from this house. But long story short, I actually ordered this fragrance after hearing Demi Rawling talk about this fragrance after her trip to Paris. And she said a lot of good things about Iris Malacan that really made me feel confident and placed my order of Iris Malacan. I got it from Twisted Lily. Um, you can get it for 10% off. No, I don't get any sponsor from Twisted Lily, but I just want to let you guys know that they do offer a 10% off for their fragrances. You can find it on other YouTube influencer. They do have a coat with them. But yeah, I got this for 10% off completely blind bought this fragrance and since today I got this fragrance I never look back this is one of my favorite fragrances for life yes guys it is to me this fragrance is like one of the most unique fragrance that I have ever smelled in my life. But before I go into the review of this fragrance, I will give you the notes and the main accords of this fragrance. So to be accurate, I go on their website for the notes. The notes listed include Cypress essential oil, Lenstick essential oil, Galbanum absolute, Oris butter, Mimosa absolute, Vanilla, Leather accord, Amber, and Musk. And the fragrance family of this fragrance is powdery gourmand leather. And this is created by Mart Zinni, was launched in 2020. All right guys, to be completely honest with you guys, 50% of the notes listed for this fragrance, I'm not really familiar with. It's just, you know, I, I don't really, Usually I don't really gravitate toward those kind of notes. So I'm not really like 100% familiar. I don't have a lot of experience with those notes. So I just wanna be honest and put it out there before I continue. But I did my research on those notes to see how they smell so that I can describe this fragrance um, in an accurate way for you guys. And please keep in mind that we all have different nose and different body. So what I picked up from this fragrance, I cannot guarantee that you will pick up the same thing like I do. So to me, the main players of this fragrance are Oris Butter and Leather. And I'm not sure what Oris Butter is, but I do, I am familiar with um, how Oris smells. So if you don't know, Oris is actually the root of Iris, the flower Iris. And before I smell Iris Malacan, I actually, 
I'm not the biggest fans of iris as the notes in perfumery. To me, iris smell very elegant and quite grown up and mature. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I just feel like I am not there yet to wear iris fragrance. But to be honest, now I feel like I was completely wrong after I tried Iris Malacan. So yes, like I said, the main players of this fragrance are Oris Butter and Leather. And I like, I actually love Oris much better than the Iris, the flower itself, because I feel like Oris also give you the same effect like the flower Iris, but a lot more multifaceted. And I will explain why I say Oris is more multifaceted. So upon my first spray of this fragrance on my skin, what I pick up is something uh, smell pretty green, herbal, earthy, and aromatic. And based on my research, I know that Landstick essential oil and galbanum has those quality. So that is what I smell when I first spray it. And Auras actually also have that beautiful, rooty, rooty earthiness to it. So I feel like the galbanum and the um, Landstick essential oil in this fragrance really comes to play, really do a really beautiful job supporting the Auras notes in here because they also share that quality of the earthiness, the greenness. Oh, and also there's a little bit of the bitter quality in here too, but it's not too much. It's just give you a very special effect. Like it's capture your attention right away. Something that right away you will notice because of that bitterness, because of that greenness, earthiness. Um, and um, the arom aromatic quality in the opening of this fragrance. So I can see that the opening could put someone off because of those quality, especially it has that a little bit of that bitterness in the opening. But guys, please let it dry down on your skin, okay? Because this is not a simple fragrance. This is a very beautiful, complex Auris fragrance. So like I said before, I like Auris much better than the flower iris itself because the Auris is so much more multifaceted. And what I mean by saying that is Auris gives you that rooty, earthiness quality, but at the same time, it is also powdery. And it is powdery in a way that is buttery, if that makes sense. So the powderiness that comes from the Auris is not so much in the makeup -y direction, but it feels, it actually feels soft and smooth and very enveloping. And as this fragrance dries down, I start to pick up the vanilla in here. Very, very beautiful vanilla. The vanilla is not excessively sweet, it is not in a dessert candy or cakey type of sweetness. Um, it's actually just the right amount of vanilla together with the Auris to create this beautiful soft cloud of powder. It is captivating and it actually brings out the sensuality of this fragrance. And of course, we cannot forget the leather in here. Guys, the leather, at first, when I heard the note of leather, I was kind of afraid, like I was scared because don't get me wrong, leather is a beautiful note in my opinion, but a lot of time I feel very overwhelmed with the leather notes. Oftentimes, the leather notes will give me a headache. Not in here though. The leather in here is not in a motorcycle leather jacket. It is not a rock star kind of letter. It's more of a beautiful leather cover book where it's very soft and smooth and buttery. Like I said, the letter in here, I don't know how they did that, 
but it smell buttery, just like the Auras. Together, they are such a match made in heaven. They both give out that beautiful, beautiful butteriness. And together, they just create this, the most beautiful, unique combinations of all time. And I know that we have quite a few of fragrance with Letter and Iris, but to be, in my opinion, this is, this, to me, this is the best Oris Iris letter combination. Like you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. And I know, I know that Dior um, Parfum and Dior um, Intense is also Iris and letter combinations and they are very famous for that. Again, in my opinion, this is still the best combinations of Iris Auras with leather. So Iris Malacan opens up with some coolness quality because of the bittery, the earthy, the aromatic, the green herbaly quality from the galbanum, from the landstick essential oil accompanied with the Auras. And as it's dried out, like I said, it get more sweet, but not excessively sweet. It just brings out sensuality. And yeah, when it dries down, it gets more warm. Like it brings out some warmness because of that, you know, vanilla. And of course we have the beautiful letter in here. It is so soft, so smooth, so sensual and you know, it's letter doesn't have to be rough, doesn't have to be rugged, doesn't have to be, you know, in your face. It could be soft, it could be smooth. And of course, the letter added in here still bring out some depth and some edgy vibe to this fragrance. And that is why I love this fragrance so much. It's so multifaceted, it took you through a journey. It will take you through a journey like the way it took me through a journey. It's just so interesting, so beautiful. And toward the end of this fragrance, you also get more of that warm, ambery, woody quality in this fragrance. And it's just a beautiful way to end this fragrance. So what about the vibe and the mood for this fragrance? And to be honest, this fragrance is so special and so unique. I am not exactly sure the vibe and the mood for this fragrance yet, but I would never recommend you to wear this fragrance to, you know, just run errand, go filling gas or go to grocery grocery store. No, definitely not because this fragrance is so special. You could not, I could not wear this to just go run errand. I need a special occasion for this fragrance. And when I say I need a special occasion, I don't mean that it is so hard to wear this fragrance. This fragrance you can wear anytime you want, but because it's special, I want it to be on a special important event of my life. And to sum up how I feel about this fragrance, this fragrance is for the boss either a man or a woman okay this is very very unisex so a man or a woman can rock this fragrance so the person who wear this fragrance doesn't care what people think about them they are confident they exude confidence they smell very powerful when they wear iris malacan they are not people pleaser they are there to represent themselves and they are confident about it. This is the fragrance that you wear on a very important meeting, right? Imagine you go to an important meeting to sign a million dollars, billion dollars contract, a big, big deal. That's when you want to pull this fragrance out because when you walk to our room, I guarantee you, you will smell extremely beautiful and different and unique and all eyes will be on you when you wear iris malacan you will show who's the boss okay 
who's the one who runs the show when you wear this fragrance. One more thing, this fragrance just has a lot of personality and that's why I feel like the person who wear this is also very well put together, very well spoken. From her or from him, you can see their charisma. You love them because of their charisma and you just cannot get your eyes from them. So yeah, that's the vibe and the mood that I get from Iris Malakan. What about the performance? Okay, guys, I don't have to talk about too much about the performance. When you wear this fragrance, it will fill the whole room, okay? That's why I said the person who will wear this don't care about what other people think, okay? And they, they don't care that they might offend someone, no. They there to show off themselves. They kind of a little bit like diva, but you know, they know they are the shit. You know what I mean? They know they are the important people. They are the VIP, they are the MVP. So they really don't care. They just wear this fragrance for themselves to boost that confidence and just to show who's the boss. But yeah, the performance projections will fill the rooms. And of course, when you leave the room, the scent will still be there. How about the longevity? Guys, it will last you for weeks if you spray it on your clothes, okay? On your skin, easily more than eight hours. So you don't have to worry about the longevity, the projection, or the sillage. Everything is 10 out of 10 for this fragrance. And yeah, guys, I just love this fragrance so much. It's really a 10 out of 10 across the board type of fragrance for me. It's really, it's really so unique that I really lost my words to describe this fragrance. But guys, if you haven't smelled Iris Malakan, I urge you to go out there looking for looking for a sample first because I don't think it is for everyone. But if you get it, you'll get it. If you understand this fragrance, you will be like me. You will be speechless and head over heels in love with this fragrance. So yeah guys, that concludes my review today for Iris Malakan. I hope you find my review today helpful and let me know, let me know if you guys own Iris Malakan in your collections. If you wanting to try it one day, I would love to chat with you guys. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!